Okay. And just before we get started, our secretary, Mary McCarthy, is not able to be with us tonight. So this recording, which I just started, will be what she uses to um, compile the written minutes. Um, so we have one hearing tonight. I'm Deborah Carney. I'm the acting chair. The voting members will be Roger Lipton, who is our chair, and Kristen V. Vaughn. And because Mary is not here, I am going to share the screen and read the legal notice. So, moment. Okay. Notice is hereby given that the Zoning Board of Appeals of Waitley will hold a public hearing on Thursday, September 7, 2023 at 640. On August 15th, Robert O'Bear applied for a special permit to renovate the East School from nine residential housing units as recorded in a special permit dated May 25, 2023 into 10 residential housing units on premises located at 2019 Christian Lane and owned by Whiteley Schoolhouse, LLC. The hearing will take place virtually via Zoom. The rules of decorum for a public hearing remain in effect, and the chairperson will seek comments from the public when appropriate to do so. Application for the special permit is to be considered under the provisions of the Waitley Zoning Bylaws as provided by MGL Chapter 40A. This notice is also published electronically on the recorder.com public's notices and on masspubliconotices.org. Um, and what follows are the meeting ID, passcode, and link. Um, and it was signed by me, the acting chair of the Zoning Board of Appeals. So, Mr. O'Bear, do you notice any errors or omissions? You are muted. Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay. So, would you, I don't know if you want to be... Uh, sharing the screen and making your own presentation, or if you want me to bring up your documents, but could you make your presentation to the board now? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, all the documents have been submitted. I don't have the savvy to pull up documents on my end on the screen. Um, I can. If you need them. Sure. I, I don't know if it's necessary unless the board needs to see something specifically, but you should have had the documents and had yeah. an opportunity to look at them. So basically what we're just looking to do is we come back to the board just to increase the uh, unit count from nine to 10 units. Uh, we had originally planned to do 10 units when we purchased this property from uh, the school district and the abutting land from the town. Um, we had run into a uh, complication with the uh, mass historic um, in terms of preserving the interior hallways. Um, initially, we thought we were going to have to reduce the unit count down to nine to accommodate. However, that's not the case uh, upon further exploration in the building and working with our architect we were able to uh, preserve the original original plan of 10 units, five on the top floor, five in the lower level. Um, this increases the overall trip count. I know that was a big point of contention in the previous meeting. To, we're talking about an additional one bedroom apartment. It increases the trip count uh, approximately 2.5 trips per day. So that's one car coming to and from the property two and a half times a day. Other than that, there's no changes at all to the plan and all of the uh, original conditions of the previous special permit would remain in place. Okay. Um, board members, do you have any questions? And does anybody want me to pull up the plan? I don't have any questions. Kristen? And I've looked at the plan closely, and um, I think it looks great. Okay. I also have looked at it closely um, and don't have a question at this time. Um, so I would like to see if members of the public would like to ask a question. And if you do, would you just identify yourself for this recording? Um, Mr. Mike B. <laughs> Hello, Deborah. Mike Becta. I have a couple of questions, and it goes back to the impact statement filed for this property. I've got some confusion in it. There's 15 tenant parking spaces 
with an additional few for visitors per code and town bylaws. How many is that additional by the bylaws? Well, I'm, I'm not quite sure I'm following that. So right on the, if you pull up the impact statement for Waitley Schoolhouse special permit application mm -hmm. by Mr. O'Bear. Well, the parking is actually regulated by the uh, site plan review. So we've met the requirements for parking. So I'm not just, I'm just not sure. Well, you say it. there's 15. How many is a few more? Is it one, two, three, five? I don't know off the top of my head. I don't have the site plan in front of me as the site plan is reviewed by a different board. That's reviewed by the planning board and parking and loading shall meet the requirements of 17113. So, but let me double check something. Okay, so the parking and loading requirements are on page 19 of the Waitley Zoning Bylaws, and this is on-site parking, not off-street parking that we're looking at. Um, so I'm looking for the number that you're asking for, Ms. <laughs> okay, so each parking space shall have at least eight and one half by 18 feet in size, should be provided with adequate access and maneuvering area. So all of that, there's not really a maximum number that I'm seeing of spaces. There is um, I'm at, there is the lot size determines how many spaces there can be. And uh, Deborah, turn to page 20. Uh, yeah, I'm there right Paragraph now. B, parking space requirements. Okay, two spaces for each residential dwelling unit plus half a space for each dwelling unit in excess of two for visitor parking. So that would be two and a half spaces per unit plus half a space in excess of two for visitor parking. And so how many spaces do you have planned, Mr. Obear? Uh, more than enough. Uh, I don't have the site plan in front of me. Okay. Again, okay. that's already been approved with adequate parking uh, I believe there's 25 spaces minimum, plus a couple additional handicap spaces. So 25 would be the minimum, and then anything above that would be extra. Correct. If these are one bedroom apartments, typically we'll have one vehicle. Um, Two and a half spaces per unit is is it's quite excessive. It's it's more than the average norm in other in other communities. You have site plan approval already from the planning board. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that is their purview. Is that for the you have site plan for the original plan or for the amended plan? Uh, we're still sticking with the original plan because we had more than adequate parking. So we did not change the site plan at all. Deborah, pull up the site plan that you have and you can count the number of spaces if we wanna see how many there are. It's not really relevant to this permit because it's reviewed under the planning board. And under site plan review. We don't have the site plan. We have what what Mary shared with us. Hang on, let me let me grab that. I can show you the revised one. Yeah, I think there is a parking plan there. Okay, hang on. Generally, we like the applicant to be able to bring their plans, but 
let me okay well so the plan's already approved and recorded i believe i know okay keep going yep landscape Is that what it? we have folks hmm. I, I know I saw it somewhere. Well, in, in many ways, it, it isn't germane to our decision. Um, this is a site plan review matter. Um, I mean, all the documents are posted on the website. I pulled the most, yeah. Right. That was our that was the revised plan. Are there other questions? Yes, I have two more on that. Okay. I would assume that the impact statement should agree with the uh, the new application of the permit because it's also calling for interior renovations will include the creation of nine units for residential living space. And then at the end, we are excited at the opportunity to again preserve the Irving graded school. I figured that it would at least be proofread to match and at least uh, be correct between the two. I don't know if you're looking at the old impact statement. I really don't know what you're referring to. So uh, this is the one that was provided to us by the board when looking for information. The revised plan. Yeah. Okay. The revised one does show. Right, not wrapped again. Yeah, the application says Oops. nin to ten units. I know there are there are there are yeah there are spelling mistakes in it. Yep. Um, but you know we're not. That's not really relevant. <laughs> Yeah, it's not yeah, really I mean, relevant. Yes, in, in the best of all worlds, it would be a, a, a grammatically perfect and it would have been proofread carefully. But at this point, we're being asked to approve <laughs> these 10 units with the plan that was provided. We're actually asking to approve one additional unit. There's nine okay. that are already approved. Well, so, this sorry. is a new special permit for yeah. 10. Yeah. Correct. It, and Ms. Carney, the last question I have, and this is the main one I'm getting to with the others, is I see that the dilapidated maple had been removed. Yes. And both permits of the ZBA and the planning board requested that, that the remaining maple that's blocking the sight line when you come to the stop has not been addressed. And a week and a half ago, I almost got creamed at that intersection because of not seeing a car because a tree with its leaves were blocking the way. And 10 minutes with a person with a handsaw could make that uh, relatively a safe intersection again. So I see a, a big tree taken out that took major time and effort and money. And then a small thing that the owner or one of his workers could take care of with a handsaw is still sitting there causing a, uh, a traffic concern to the general public. Could you could you tell me again where this small tree is? It's at the intersection of uh, Christian Lane and River Road. As, okay. you, as you're at the stop sign and look to the left to the north, if you stop at the stop line where you're supposed to for the stop sign, that tree impairs your vision to see to the north. Okay. Especially so, bicyclists. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware of that, and it's a condition of the special permit. I'm happy to make it a condition of this permit as well. My okay. tree company overlooked that instruction when they came to the site to do the other work. So it is okay. on their purview to get that taken care of. So to trim it or to remove it? To, to trim, trim it. Okay. So no, it's a beautiful it. tree. It just needs some, uh, some care and maintenance. Okay. So the small tree at the intersection of Christian Lane and River Road impairs vision to the north. Yes. And we'd like to have that trimmed. Okay. 
So that's the last of what I have. And Mr. O'Bear answered all the other questions. I thank him for that. And uh, I have nothing else to go on. Thank you thank very you, much. O'Bear. Thank you very much. Thank you, board. Does anyone else have a question? Um, I do. And could you identify yourself, please? Sure. Um, my name is Mary Lou, and this is my husband, Steve, and we live across the street. And your last um, names? Um, Michaelis, M-I-K-E-L-I-S. Thank you. And we live across the street from the school. And um, as far as everybody saying who don't live around here that it's a safe intersection, it's not. Um, the speeding down this road is terrible. We don't have a lot of police presence all the time. When we do, we're very grateful. Um, they're always way over the speed limit. I think um, it's nice to say that there'll only be one car per um, apartment, but if you have two people, you have two cars. So that would be 20 cars, not 10. Um, it's not just the cars, it's the it's the neighborhood, it's, it's the corner. It's a really busy corner. It's a lot of bicycles and 20 more cars um, is not something we're at all looking forward to. Um, Mr. O'Bear, I've heard all good things about you though um, from my hairdresser who lives up in Irving that you've done stuff in Montague and it's really nice. And so I'm grateful to hear good things about you but it's really concerning to us to have that much more traffic on this corner that's already a hazard where um, I think Mike could attest that there's been plenty of accidents of people going right through um, the aunt's, um, our neighbor's garage, um, things like that, um, that have happened over the years on this corner. And if you don't live around here, you don't know what's going on. So um, there's just so many issues. Um, I would have been in on earlier meetings uh, we were out of the country when you've had other meetings. So unfortunately we weren't able to attend and, and hear everything, but um, you know, we are concerned about that many more people hanging out in this neighborhood and right on this corner. So, um, and that many more cars. So um, I don't know, I just wanted to be heard and I thank you for hearing. And um, you know, I do have a question too, what you mean by high-end apartments. Um, you know, are there going to be low income housing? Is there going to be Section 8 so you can get Ben, you know, because I know that uh, an owner does get, um, you know, benefits financially if there are low income housing or Section 8, is it? I don't know what it is, even is called. But um, so I'm just kind of asking those questions, too, about, you know, are you going to be screening? I don't know what you mean by high end. And if you can answer some of those questions, maybe for my husband and I, we'd be appreciative. Sure. So uh, first of all, regarding the traffic stuff, um, you know, that's an enforcement issue that the town has to take care of with the, either the police department or the DPW with added signage. Um, you know, that's an enforcement issue typically uh, regarding speeding or people not stopping. It's certainly nothing that, that I, I can influence or, or control. Um, secondly, when we say high end apartments, it was I believe the word was upscale that was used in the original description for the nine That's for what I meant. That's special true. permit. Um, yeah, boy, that word caused a lot of ruckus. I'll tell you that. Um, I, I, you know, it basically means we're going to use nice high end finishes in the apartments, wood floors, tile, plywood cabinets. There were, these are not, um, you know, junky apartments, you know, with low quality materials. Right. Because um, usually it, the, the rents around here are really expensive. And I grew up in Northampton, so I know um, what rents yeah. go for. And we're actually landlords across the street. We are um, landlords, too. We have a two family here. So I know what rents go for. So if you are going to have apartments that are that nice, then you are going to have um, more than one person per apartment because one person can't afford rents if they're very high. It's usually two people in an apartment. Um, maybe a family or whatever of two. So, um, you know, that was just my, um, you know, the cars and, and all of that and the people sure. and the noise and, the, sure. you know, is there going to be 
the lighting, I, which we don't want a ton more lighting over there. That's going to be, that's what yeah. I'm concerned about is the people so, coming in and out all night and the sure. noise. So that stuff, that stuff was all addressed in the site plan review, the lighting and uh, the parking, and there's going to be a buffer and there's going to be plantings and all of that was addressed um, previously. Um, you know, that's uh, those documents are available for review to take a look at. Um, okay. As far as Section 8 goes, so I, I can't legally discriminate against someone based on income. That's against the law. No, I know so, that. I know that. Uh, what, I, what I can do is I can screen people and make sure that they meet an affordability rating based on the cost of the apartment. Um, so, I mean, that's typically what we do as a good practice as good landlords. Um, we we want to make sure that people can afford the rent that we're charging so that we don't run into issues down the road. So, I mean, that's pretty much our policy and our, our standard practice, and we actively manage our properties. So um, we're not, you know, absentee landlords by any means. Does that answer your questions? Yeah. I, I'm afraid you're muted. Sorry, it, it answers some of them, yes. Uh, it's just... 20 more cars on this corner is is just and and the people is just really really concerning to well, every you understand single person. That, you understand that the units have been approved with nine is the number already and the I, 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 well i heard it was eight and then now no, i'm hearing it's, yeah it's but nine. So um, the sole, sole purpose of this hearing is whether an increase of one apartment will uh sway us to deny the permit and so yeah i we just you know like i said we were out of the country the last one and so i i really we just wanted to be heard and we wanted to just ask ourselves to meet mr obear and um just wanted to make sure that there was going to be a limit on the cars and that kind of thing so okay that was mary, some of the mary lou i live in the center of town you know uh near the library in the waitley inn and they were able to greatly improve uh, the stop sign coming down from Haydenville Road and yes. then the whole intersection where people have slowed down from going, you know, 40, 45 to, you know, 25, 30. And it's really made a big difference around here. So, I mean, I don't know why that, you know, that, you know, I, I think that going to the DPW might and talking to them and, you know, getting in on a plan, because I agree. I mean, it is a dangerous intersection or can be if someone doesn't stop completely. So, I mean, I understand that fresh, you know, that, 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 that should be something that we look at as a town. Yeah. And, but the homes where you live, no offense, but your homes are not so close to the road as the homes on this intersection. And the homes Correct. are very close. So, so in this even corner. more so. So you even so more you so. have it a little different than we do on this corner. I'm I know, saying. and and the speed limit I think coming up the uh, road there is like forty five or forty. I mean, I know. you know a speed bump down the street wouldn't hurt. I we would be happy to have a speed bump down there, a couple no, of them but, down near Halstoskis and down that way. I mean, we'd be happy to have a couple of them put in, but um, that's another whole issue. Well, a good place to start. Kristen is making good points, though, about starting with the select board to express those concerns so that they can be a conduit to the DPW, certainly to do a traffic study. Um, also, speed bumps, stop signs, you know, those kinds of things. Lowered speed limits. Lowered you know, speed limits. Starting with the select board with that. It, it did help us here, Mary Lou. And it was a big concern because it was big trucks going by. Yeah, we get 18 wheelers as well at, at two o'clock in the morning, which so. OK, um, I'll start there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving us your nice your meeting you, Mr. Obear. I hope, um, you know, I hope you do well with those and I, I hope it, it works out well for all of us. Yeah, feel free to stop in once you see construction's really underway. Yeah, I'm happy, happy to meet the neighbors and give tour. And I'm, I'm, I'm a very good neighbor. So. Well, I, I'm happy to hear to that. We've that. Had, yeah. We've had a lot of trouble picking up a lot of trash in our yard too, with some personal information on them that we've um, ripped up and threw away that had come from several calls that I've had to make to the city hall to just have it 
taken care of because I was getting personal information on the people in the town over in our yard for several weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, that was taken over from the school. So that kind of thing has already been happening. So it set a, just put a bad taste in our mouths mm -hmm. um, from the start. So um, um, thanks for cleaning that up and taking care of that problem with all the paper over there as well. So that was just kind of why we're on the meeting tonight, my husband and I, out of concern that it just didn't start very well with us, you know, as far as sure. um, everything going on over there. And it's, we've been here for 30 years, even though I know that's probably a not a lot for the people in Waitley, but we are part of this community as well. And we, we have been living in this house for over 30 years. So um, I, I appreciate your time. Absolutely, thank you. Thanks. Does anyone else in the public here have a question or a comment? Yes. Are you getting? Are you folks getting ready to vote? I believe we are. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody, Mr. O'Bear and the board, and everything for uh, taking time out to to listen to a few things. And the thing with the impact statement was the lead up to the uh, getting the tree done. It was the real focus of my whole thing, and. Yeah. From what yeah, I saw, was, the architect's drawing and trying to fit 10 within the scope of the building and not changing the outside was a big concern that the, something was going to happen to the outside of the building. So no. it's appreciated that it's staying in its uh, historic state, so to speak. Yes. So that's all I have to say is thank you all very much and uh, appreciate all your time and listening. Oh, thank you. We're always happy when the public will come and share their 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 thoughts and opinions. It helps us make our decision. It really does. Um, if there is nothing else, then I would make a motion that we close the public portion of this hearing. Second it. Okay. And all thank in favor of closing it. Aye. 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 Okay, so at this point, um, okay, we on the board <laughs> will deliberate. Okay. And um, and that this is completely open to the public and um, talk about our decision. So I, after having looked at the plans and we've been through, you know, this has been something of a process <laughs> that's gone over for a number of months. Um, I feel satisfied that the 10th apartment um, will not impose any more of um, a danger or a hazard or a hardship than the the nine. I think it's a good use of the building. Um, and I certainly would support a condition that the small tree at the intersection be trimmed. And so I would be um, inclined to vote in favor. I agree. <clears throat> the addition of one apartment is not more detrimental than the nine. And I agree upon the condition also. And I will third it because I think it's a a great usage of the space. And I actually think it's going to help the neighbors because I think it will prod the town to look at that intersection. So mm -hmm. I am definitely um, um, in agreement. So I believe I make another motion that we all vote. <laughs> so I will be voting in, oh, so somebody second? Second. Okay, so I'll be voting in favor with the condition. In favor. Favor. Okay, so we will be writing this decision up and filing it with um, the town clerk. And there is, um, I'll, I'll write it up this weekend and take it over uh, next week for signatures. And then you know the appeal period. I do. Um, so the so that will be the condition though that that tree get trimmed. No problem. Um, Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. You're, You're very welcome. welcome. <clears throat> Okay, so that that does conclude any of the public business we have. I mean, anybody is welcome to stay while we look at meeting minutes from last time. Um, that sounds like a great time, but I'm I'm going to sign off. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Have a great night. Invitation only. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, did every did people get a chance? I people um just to look at the the minutes that Mary sent. I did. Okay. The only thing I saw was my name was misspelled kind of halfway yeah, through, <laughs> um, just a longer version of Deborah, but I didn't see anything else. 
I didn't read them because I didn't participate in that meeting. Yeah, that's fine. But I, Kristen, if you if you did and I did, they looked fine. So I would um, vote with the exception of correcting the spelling of my name. Um, and I believe for the benefit of Mary, who will listen to this. It's on the second page. Um, and it's just the long version of Deborah as opposed to my short version. Um, so I would vote that we accept the minutes. I will second. Okay, and let's, we have accepted the minutes. Okay. Um, and did people also see that I cannot be available on the first Thursday in October? We don't have anything yet, but just to be thinking um, uh, who can be available for that if need be. I would be available. Okay, that's great. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm available. And Fred, would you be available? Great. Okay. Um, okay, I think this concludes our business. So I will stop the recording.